Samantha Jackson and also Bree Washington, a quarterback, five feet five inches tall, our favorite. We got first down Jets Eli Manning. Ironically, the former Giants player, and now Samantha participating for the Jets. And on first down, she's got time, surveys, and dumps it off. Velez has it. She'll keep that play alive. And Jay Velez racing ahead towards the 20. Really great play call there. You're starting to get more of those mesh routes where you're forcing the eyes of the defender, challenging their zonal awareness. I mean, we'll be seeing a lot more of that, I think. Zonal awareness. Give me the description on what that means. Really being disciplined and staying in your zone because the temptation is to get pulled across because we talked a little bit about how in flag it happens so quickly. You have to have time awareness. Three seconds or so First becomes more of a man, but if you just hold on a little bit too long, you get put in a bad position. Okay, Tano, the reception, it's first and goal. Five yards past midfield after securing the first down. Staten Island on the move, looking deep, going short. Jay Velez has it. And inside the 10, on the move, the All-Stars representing the Jets. I mean, great pressure there from the rush. I think if our quarterback, Samantha Jackson, just looked up a little bit longer, they might be coming back to that play because Nyla Caetano was running the seam down the field and was wide open. It's Jenna Charway with the grab, a gain of 14. Here come the All-Stars. Jackson with time, back to the end zone. Pass is corralled by... Kaya Dunn and the wide receiver who also runs track ran for the touchdown in the back of the end zone there. They made that look nice and smooth. This is what we love to see in flag football. Nice exchange with the center and the quarterback. Eyes are downfield. She knew who she wanted to get the ball to. She had outran her coverage there. Brilliant connection point. They'll go for one or will they go for two? Let's see. Ball spotted at the 10 indicating a two point conversion attempt. And the strategy here to go for two early already with a six-point advantage. You can go for one from the five. Jackson headed off deep in the backfield, racing around the corner. And the flag's going to be pulled. Kaylee Serrano unable to reach the end zone, so the score remains 6 nothing. I like that they were trying to get the hands into Serrano's hand. Her, her dad is actually one of the coaches here. Great to see it. But look at that catch, that beautiful job. Oh, who doesn't love a little celebration? We need more of that. Not much time off the clock. Nine and a half minutes remaining here in our first half. It is a running clock in flag football. First touch for the Bad Rapids at quarterback Kamiya Yurzua. Some of her throws went viral yesterday on social media with the way she was able to distribute the football. And the pass grab by Ayala. That was an interesting defensive alignment. We talk so much about the rush. You have to be seven yards down, behind the line of scrimmage. Head. But if you line everybody up behind the line of scrimmage and you try and convince the quarterback you're coming, they don't know who to be as their first read. This team representing the Raiders, a 32-0 shutout yesterday. Your Zua threw for four touchdowns. And a yard short of midfield. It'll be third down. Really nice play Third call. Down. You saw Pass the awareness only. from the receiver there. She looked across to find where the midfield point was and did what we call short lining. She stopped the play there. And short lining for those unaware of what that means. Essentially, you're giving yourself another opportunity to have an extra down, really, so that then you go and have another five sets, essentially, to get to the end zone. Ayala with the reception. Stop short. Of the 15, first it'll be goal. first and goal. Rizua, how impressive has she been simply throwing the football, the touch, the zip, the ability to outmaneuver the pass rush. It's been phenomenal, the games we've seen. Oh, she has just been incredible. It's the way that she feels the presence of the rusher. She is not afraid. She stands back there. And interestingly enough, no rush on this play. That makes it more challenging at times. So Gutierrez into the end zone in front of the pylon for the score. Wow, what a play. Great job. And again, that extension breaking the plane of the end zone touchdown to Raiders. really They've secure to that one. touchdown. No rush on this means that she's got time, but your receivers have to get open. It's a great play call here and just reaches that ball out, her hand closest to the end zone. Bad Rabbits will go for one. Yurzua. Lined up deep to receive the snap. Flag was still there, and the pass falls 
incomplete. We remain tied at six. 7-14 remaining in the half. Conversion is no good. What a great play that was. Nice drive. Both these teams, we talked about it. They are high-powered. Looking again at our incredible quarterback throwing the ball, including in the end zone. That's what you want to see. I mean, great team effort by them. Excellent. This is going to be a great game. The sport is all about flag football. Absolutely, and it might come back to that moment where the Staten Island All-Stars went for two points and weren't able to secure it. Games like this is where that really plays a big role. Hey, Velez around the right side, a short pickup on first down as the Staten Island All-Stars representing the Jets with possession. Her ability, her speed, the way that she's able to move her hips and really change the down. height of her hips is so lethal in a game like this. On this team, she's known for her humor, ability to keep things light. On the field, she has really displayed outstanding speed and shiftiness, and generating big plays for the All-Stars. Now in motion, Velez will fake the handoff to her. Jackson eludes the pressure down the field. Off the carom, complete, and the flag pulled short of midfield and first down yardage. Bree Washington with a catch. Wow, what great job here. Look at this rush coming in hot like that. Arms up, kind of block the vision of the quarterback. Just makes that catch a little Third bit down. harder for Bree That's Washington, old. but she used her great hands and sides to be able to bring that in. Awesome awareness focusing on the football. All-Stars in the no-run zone. Third down, just two yards needed to secure the up first down. As Velez moves around again, pre-snap. Jackson looking her direction, that's a first down. And the flag pulled near the 20. First and goal from there. I really like those little motion plays they do where they bring you in and then they drag you right out. First Any of those kind of quick darts out, they're really lethal when you're looking to get that first down. Jackson already with five completions to five different receivers. Velez has been a mainstay. Down the field with a fingertip grab. There it is. Caetano from 20 yards out. Wow, what a beautiful job. They do such a nice real formation challenge. They, they give you the same look. They have some of the same similar routes, and just one little tweak opens it up. We'll see it right here. You've got that motion coming across, and watch Caetano. We've talked about it time and time again. When you have a center that can run and catch the way that she can, they are one of the most lethal players on the field. Going for the one-point conversion towards the back of the end zone. Dubner converts. Extra point Olivia Dubner. Excellent. You love to see the energy and passion. I mean, the crowd here is getting louder and louder already. Look, you got to give it up to the All-Stars. They play with the formation so nicely in your route concepts. Watching Caetano here, running that corner route beautifully. Quarterback puts it where only she can grab it. Nice reception there by Sofia Ayala. She's been a really big athlete for her. We saw her yesterday taking off, Second using down. that track-like speed that she has. They'll be looking to get the ball to her on the move again. Bad Rabbits with possession. Orzua with plenty of time again. Spins it complete. And the flag finally pulled about four yards short of midfield and first downs. Nice completion. You're looking for the defense here to be driving down, not Third giving down. this That's incredible only. Bad Rabbits team the opportunity to run after catch because that's where they are dangerous. Third down, midfield to go. Rizua looks towards the sideline to get the play. All three possessions have resulted in three touchdowns, Phoebe. Yeah, this, that's what you get. High-powered offenses out here. It looks like the defense is inviting them to cross the line of scrimmage and give them a short field. Play clock was winding down. That'll be a first down across midfield. First and goal from there. And three plays for the Bad Rabbits to reach the end zone. The catch. Check that. The catch made by First Ayala. and goal. Smart move there. Just force them to be only three yards over the midline and give them a long field to try and get in the end zone. The depth of this snap, Phoebe, you've talked about this. It gives a little extra time for your Zua, the quarterback for the Bad Rabbits. Absolutely. You look at most quarterbacks, they might be five, maybe seven yards back at times. But the further back you are, and you can see the comfort, especially because your Zua has such a strong arm, it just puts a lot of pressure on the rusher to get there and opens up time downfield. 
She's been playing flags since she was nine years old. Tamia Yorzua. Another completion goes to Ayala once again. So just looking at this, remember your quarterback has seven seconds to throw the ball. That's even if there Second is a rush goal. or is not coming, uh, having a rush coming downfield, unless you have a handoff. However, the quarterback cannot run beyond the line of scrimmage. However, direct handoffs are allowed behind the line of scrimmage. So if you do that, you might get some tricky double QB stuff coming up before we know it. Approaching two minutes to go in the first half, an entertaining first half. Bat Rapids trying to tie it up or take the lead inside the five. It'll be third down and goal from there. And the Bat Rapids again on the move and the reception by Salito. This is a really tough area of the field to defend because third it down. is so Pass congested. Only. So you're just looking for the leverage battle here. A lot of times teams are looking to hit the front pylon. You got those kind of quick outs or darts out to the front pylon. Because if you got a good quarterback, you kind of stare him down in the front and you'll have some sort of corner or dig along the back of the end zone. Good quarterback hasn't had an incompletion today. Nine for nine with a touchdown for your zoo. An understatement to suggest she's had a good start to this tournament. We've yet to see an incomplete pass in this game, in this half. With 90 seconds remaining in the first half. One, two, oh! Zua in zone. That trend continues for the touchdown. <laughs> Beautifully done. We talked about getting to that front pylon, line. But what's interesting, when you create a bunch situation, a bunch formation like touchdown that, Raiders. your defense they tends to mirror that. However, what happens here, and you'll see, the rusher actually gets impeded by her own player. Now, there's no penalty on that, but what it does, it just messes up the route and path and leaves a receiver wide open. It's like they created their own pick play on each other. So Gutierrez reaches the end zone. They'll go for one, and that attempt will come from the five-yard line. Thirteen to twelve for the tie. Matt Rabbits from Baja, California. Big fan of TikTok, we're told collectively as a team. Front pylon, flag comes in, two penalty markers. And Chioni with the conversion. And we await the infraction ruling. Looks like I might be on the defense here. But you can see on that one, the defense. There are penalties on both teams. We have holding on the defense. Offensive pass interference, offense. Those penalties offset. We're gonna redo the try. So offsetting penalties, just like what we would see in tackle football, similar scenario in football. Yeah, you can't finish on a penalty either, so they will still have to run the play now. But what was interesting, we saw in that formation, the defense recognized and adjusted from the play before. Even though the offense was in the bunch, they went wider, and now you see your rusher has changed her angle. She's no longer direct, she's out to the side. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty. We've yet to see an incompletion, and we are tied. Back-to-back -back -back conversion attempts, this one counts. And what a first half we have witnessed tied at 13, Peeps. This is incredible. This is what we want to see. Just watching here, I mean, she just came out wide open. Beautiful job there by Sofia Ayala. And great eyes, I'm telling you. Camilla Yursa is a very incredible player. The way that she's able to play with the defense with her eyes and her shoulder movement. Head coach, Staten Island, the All-Stars, representing the Jets, Anthony Velasquez. Coach, entertaining first half. What did you see? Oh, great game. You know, Bad Rapids, they, uh, they're a great team. Uh, I see a lot of energy out there on both sides. Um, I think the second half is going to be fireworks again. It's a very good game. Coach, I mean, it's been great to watch you guys play. This is exactly what we want, this, these high-powered offenses that you have. I mean, what is your message to the girls at halftime now? Because this is a high-stakes game. Um, it's going to come down to whoever has the ball last. Whoever has the ball last is going to need to execute. They're going to start with the ball right now. It's going to look like we're going to have the ball last, so whoever executes the most in the second half is going to win this game. Best of luck, Coach. We appreciate the time. Thank you so much. Hi, Mom. Anthony Velasquez <laughs> with a message to Mom. Beautifully done. Tied at 13, our second half between the Bat Rabbits and the Staten Island All-Stars is coming up. Have highlights, BB, impressive both sides offensively. We didn't see an incomplete pass. <laughs> I mean, this is just incredible. Jackson connecting with Dunn early on. I mean, every drive has been successful for both of these teams. 
and then right back at it with Yosua throwing to Zoe Gutierrez, getting in the end zone, reaching over the pylon like that to secure that touchdown, much needed. And then you go right back to it. Jackson throwing to Caetano on a corner route. I mean, puts it just where her receiver can get it. And finally finishing up here with Yosua throwing back again to the youngest player, Enlia Zoe Gutierrez. I mean, who could ask for a better, better back and forth than what we've got going on right now? 17 passes attempted, 17 passes completed, over 150 yards of offense through the air. And the numbers tell a brilliant story. And look, this is why we love flag football. The pace, the accuracy, the precision that we've seen with both of these teams coming into their own here in Canton, it's been brilliant. Oh, it has been. I mean, this is just a, a, a tactical masterpiece. And, you know, you see athletes like Camilla Usura, who is so calm, cool, and collected back there. Just a little hip flick, eyes downfield. I mean, she's doing a great job of leading her team. And Samantha Jackson, the same, very similar qualities here. That familiarity with her team. Both these teams have been playing together since they were kids, essentially. And you can see that relationship, the chemistry between them all on the field. It's not a question of who has the football now, but who has it last, according to the head coach, Anthony Velasquez, for Staten Island. And we are about to find out how this second half unfolds and who Raiders. wants to punch their ticket to the semis. Championship coming up tomorrow over Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium, directly towards our left. Rozua continues to show the hot hand. So Gutierrez for the reception. Starting the game again, you see that the Staten Island All-Stars are all lining up behind those seven-yard line, just so you don't know who is going to rush. You're trying to force Rusua to think a little bit before making that throw. Second down midfield to go. Looking for a chunk play here. Rusua with time, flings it deep, and the pass is intercepted. Dunn picks it off. And back into the territory of the Bad Rabbits in our first turnover of the game. Oh, what a play. Oh, my goodness. Great job there by Kayamora Dunn. The way she drove on that football. Yursua did actually have Sofia Ayala. She just needed a little more heat on that ball. But great choice. I love that they were taking first a shot on Jets. that one. She had her downfield. Just got a little bit of wind underneath it. Kamora Dunn runs track also, plays a pretty good center field when it comes to flag. The interception, the first mistake of this game by either side. Jackson will return the favor. That pass will be broken up. Villarino. It's interesting, they're following a very similar script to what they did in that first half of football, getting the crossing routes. I mean, but way to jump down on that ball. This game, Second we've seen the high-powered offenses, but defense are going to have to step up big time, especially for the Bad Rabbits. They need to steal a possession back here. Lee Washington actually did a good job to make sure that pass wasn't picked off. She was the intended target. Velez, the reception here to start this second half. And she'll dance her way inside the 15 towards the 12. Velez is such a fun player to watch. She's so dangerous because she's got that speed, a low center of gravity. She's Third able to bring her hips from high to low and low to high. So you have to almost have two people always on her for that vice tackle. Phoebe, she also plays basketball. You can imagine her in the backcourt just wreaking havoc on opposing defenses, trying to stay in front of her. Absolutely. I don't know if I'd really want to play basketball against her either. <laughs> Jackson, the quarterback, and on third and goal, they've got to go to the end zone. Here it is, and broke it up. So the Bad Rapids defense stands tall, Turnover and they'll get down. the football back First in this tie game, just over Raiders. nine minutes remaining. <laughs> what a play by Yari Morales. I mean, just eyes on it, high points that ball, snatches it out of her hand. I mean, that's what you need to know. Understanding the down and distance, you don't need to catch it. You just want to make sure that receiver doesn't catch it. Bad Rabbits get it back, and your Zua back on the field. All that experience after the interception. Let's see how she responds. A dump off to Morales. And ahead towards the 15. A little dip move. Again, dip is such a big part of this game. Really being able to get down Second low. Down. But remember, your knee can't touch the floor, so the officials are looking for that. And on the dip move, that changes the verticality of where the flag is located, makes it more difficult to pull. So Gutierrez. And there's a perfect example, again, of short lining. You see her stopping before the midway point. Now she's going to be on, they're going to be on third to halfway, so they might take a shot here third because down. they know they'll have Pass fourth only. down. And then plus, 
they're thinking they're going to get that first down with another three. So you're just playing your maths chances here. I like the arithmetic conversation. <laughs> Usually I leave the math to you. But, no, you, know, you do not. I thought I could count to four on that one. <laughs> well done on your part, Pete. <laughs> so third down, midfield to go, just a yard. Let's see if they elect to take a shot. Penalty marker comes out. Rizua avoids the rush. And a chunk play along the right side. Zoe Gutierrez again. We'll check the infractions. Two flags are on the field. That looks like an illegal rush, which sometimes could be a part of the game. We got game a legal rush. Defense. That penalty's declined. First and goal. Rules analysts in the booth with us. So what you're going to watch, watch number two lined up. She crosses the line of scrimmage. She could have been told to do this to prevent the long attempt because you're forcing that team to take the penalty, get the first down, so you're mo minusing two of their plays there. Well, the strategy is so compelling. <laughs> you talk about flag versus tackle. Aggressive chess. Yes, that's a great way to describe it. Morales will go in motion and towards the top of your screen. Zua the clap in the clean snap. Looking in zone, pass will be grabbed by Ayala into the end zone for the touchdown. Are they really sure? Well, the initial indication was a touchdown. They're going to have a conversation about this. This would be an interesting call here. It, it looked like she hadn't reached over, but I saw what you were talking about. The official looked like he thought it was in, went to confirm with the other one. Part of the rules as official is you have to make sure you talk about it first unless you're incredibly clear. Oh, and they're giving it short. Second and goal from inside the two. We got second and short, pass only. So a 10-yard gain. They needed 11 to score the six. We'll watch the end of that play. So they missed the first flag, and it looks like after they pulled it, she just then reached it out, which is where the confusion comes from. This is a hard place to defend, though. You're looking for a little short underneath pass. I'm surprised, actually, the quarterback's so far off. Nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. The clean snap. Yes. Front yes. Out and another touchdown. Ayala for six. What a dynamic duo touchdown these two Raiders. have become. They've elected to go I mean, the one. way that they are finding each other on the field, and it, I love that little route that she ran here. You'll see her out on the far side. She, she runs it and then almost comes back because she feels the determination of her quarterback. So it looked like a little go with a, a comeback to the front pylon. Touchdown advantage now going for the extra point. A one point possibility here. Yorzua from pylon again. So Gutierrez and the Bad Rabbits. A seven point advantage. Nearly extra halfway home in our second half. Good. What a game this has become. I mean, that's gonna show perhaps that getting, not getting that touchdown in the far end zone might hurt them. Watching the receiver coming back to the ball. You've got man on the outside, and then same here. You get that bunch formation right in the end zone, front pylon. Pro Football Hall of Fame here in the Hall of Fame Village. Phoebe Schechter, Roy Philpott. Great game on Hambry Washington. Now the quarterback for the Jets in the quick handoff. She'll get it back. And the pass falls incomplete. One of the things that makes the Staten Island All-Star so unique is they have so many quarterbacks on their team. They talked about three, even four athletes being able to play quarterback, two of them Second in the down. backfield right now. Yeah, we've seen Olivia Dubner, we've seen Bree Washington, Samantha Jackson. And now it's Washington again for the All-Stars. Last ball short and incomplete, looking for Caetano. Third down in midfield to go from all the way back at the five. Yeah, this is going to be a huge play for them right here. They have got to get at least seven, eight yards to give themselves a chance Third to get down. halfway. And that's if you want to then go for it on fourth, where potentially if you don't make it, the turnover happens on your side of the field. Dave Velez lines up at the top of the screen. Keep an eye on number five for Staten Island, she's been the playmaker throughout this tournament run to get to the quarterfinals today. Samantha Jackson, the pump fake, goes the other way. And Velez, a short game decision time on fourth and mid. Yeah, we're starting to see a little bit of frustration here on the sideline. I mean, Samantha Jackson doing a great job 
just being aware of the whole field. And it's tough to see because this defense are doing a, a wonderful job of defending all this space. But sometimes you just got to take a risk, especially when you know the stakes of the game and you look at the time, we're already down to 440. I mean, technically, the Rabbits could run this clock all the way to the end zone. And it is a running First clock. 12-minute halves, the change of possession. As Staten Island elects to punt the football, and that means the Bat Rabbits take over at their own five. Mia Yorzua in no hurry whatsoever. Numeral zero. The Bat Rabbits, the team from Baja, California. And head coach Ariana Laura, what a great job she has done in helping build and mold this program to get to this point. Strategically, they have been on point this entire tournament run. Lynchoni, flagpole crossing the 15. Second in midfield to go from there. They just need to be taking care of the football at this point. Nice completions, get it in your playmaker's hands. Don't stress Second too down. much about those Runner deep pass. throws. So you're looking at those underneath routes, a lot of those hitches, those crossing routes, especially seeing how far off the All-Stars defense is at this time. But it's tricky when you've got the whole clock that you're playing with and you're in control of the game. That's where this can be frustrating. But this defense needs to stand up big. I would almost be encouraging them to be a little bit further up here because you know what they're wanting to achieve. Play clock now under five as the game clock approaches three minutes to go. Both teams three timeouts. You mentioned short lining. They're going to give her the first down. And that'll move the chains. She did try and reel it back after that, but the ball had already crossed the plane. And again, remember, it's about First where the goal. ball is, not where the flag is pulled. But she tried. She realized after it had happened. So this is a great spot for the defense. But again, thinking about what the play calls are here, trying not to get frustrated. This is a team that are actually a, a group of two different teams from Staten Island regarding the All-Stars. You've got the All-City girls coming together with the Staten Island Giants to create this team. So sometimes they're actually enemies on the field, but here they're having to work together. So communication's key. Two and a half to go, your Zua. That one climbed right off the top of the shoes by Zoe Gutierrez. And timeout number one will be taken timeout. by the All-Stars. Yeah, I think that's a smart decision there. Yes. Just slow down the rolling clock. Make sure you get your girls together. Give them a second to just breathe, connect on this. It's hard. When you look at flag football, you're slightly limited in the different defenses you can run. You're typically looking at a 2-2 or some sort of variation of that. But what it means is you leave the middle open as well. So a lot of times you'll have offenses trying to come and replace the blitz sitting in the middle. At this rules in the NFL flag championships, the actual getting out of bounds isn't a thing. So it doesn't necessarily matter where you are on the field. Anthony Velasquez talking to his team and talking with Samantha, Samantha Jackson and Bree Washington, his two quarterbacks. Minor championship Sunday, ESPN, ABC, the place to be. Winner of this game, get that first matchup back here on Second ESPN goal. Plus, 11 a.m. tomorrow. Waiting the winner, Liberty City, the Apex Predators. A game that is scheduled to start in about 15 minutes over Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. After the timeout, second down and goal to go from the 21 yard line for the Bad Rabbits. Yorzu, another deep drop. Across the middle, Bree Washington nearly with the interception. An enormous play there. It'll be third down and goal, and one more play to reach the end zone now for the Bad Rabbits. You can see how much Kayamura done wanted that ball, and Bree Washington and came in and <laughs> tried to take it from her. You know, again, we talk about that communication. Both these girls, absolute athletes. That could have been a great field position for them, but hey, this is a huge stop right here. They can be in that sort of prevent style defense, making sure they don't lose their receivers. Phoebe, still a lot of time remaining in this game. Rosua with three touchdown passes, the one interception, and the two incompletions overall. Play of the game comes right now. This is hugely important for them, both sides of the ball, and it almost goes to benefit them that if, if the Staten Island All-Stars get another possession here to drive down the field, they could be the ones that finish with the football, as you alluded to. Chance potentially to go for two and the win at the end. The play clock winding down. The snap over the head. Oh my gosh. 
What a huge play. Oh, my goodness. Time out. Jets. All right, so after that sequence, Phoebe, where is the football spotted considering that was third down and goal? Turnover on down. You're thinking of it like a down, turnover, Jets. just as we heard our, our white hat there, Brian Sullivan, say. So everything starts right back on your own five-yard line. Imagine it's just like an incomplete pass there. But, oh, that is huge. When the pressure is cooking, that's where you need it, and especially as a center. Perhaps if you think that you're going to be the one that might receive the ball, that's where you see the snaps go a little bit wavy on that. You've got to just snap the ball, take your time. Nothing matters unless that completion happens. And remember, the clock will start a minute 12 remaining. There is one timeout to work with. Samantha Jackson, 9 of 11 through the air, the two touchdowns. And Coach Velasquez told us at halftime the team that has the football last will be in the best spot to win this game. And lo and behold, after dealing with some adversity, an opportunity here. Ooh. False start already to start False the drive. Start on the offense, half the distance, second down. Serrano grabbed the pass, 109 remaining. Second down, midfield to go. Yep. Reset the clock to 112, dead ball enforcement. This pressure is, is up here, but also you're starting to get the noise of the crowd. So you, just like we see in the my NFL, time, you've got time. to be able to watch that football. It'll be key. They're double checking the timing of the clock. They reset it back to a minute and 12 seconds. It's a really great communication we have here between those on the field, our officials. We've got our head official who just came on the field to speak to them, down. talking to those in the booth, talking about the clock. So it's an incredibly professional procedure we've got going on. At the distance towards the goal line, Jackson a pump fake underneath. <laughs> Intercepted Zoe Gutierrez. <laughs> In for the oh. touchdown and the pick six and the Bad Rabbits in position. What? I don't even know what else to say. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Oh my goodness. What an interception that was in such a huge moment. Touchdown Raiders. They've elected to go for one. Watch this here. I mean, you've got that little whip. And then Zoe Gutierrez just comes right underneath it with the beautiful move. Oh. Wow. <laughs> her length, her speed, and the ability to forecast exactly where that football was going, the instincts were on point in a major way in the biggest play of this game. Yeah, this is, they are going to be very pleased with this. And now you go back into this formation. There is one timeout left for Staten Island. They elect to use that timeout. here to keep this yes. game going. And Zoe Gutierrez, six receptions, 52 yards, a touchdown on offense, and a pick six there. Yeah, I mean, she has been quite the utility player for them. I mean, just watch this unfold. She reads the quarterback. She sees the receiver do that little pivot route, and then that evasive move, throwing her hips forwards to be able to keep her flags away from what was the offensive player. But you can see also why it's so important that you have athletes who play both sides of the ball. We saw her catching multiple touchdowns as a receiver, so her feeling and understanding for concepts is already right there. Eight seconds remaining, Staten Island out of timeouts and the Bad Rabbits. What a run it has been. A shutout victory yesterday, a two-score advantage today, and just seconds remaining in this contest. One more snap for the All-Stars. Jay Velez, flag is pulled, and this game comes to a close. And congratulations, the Bad Line Rabbits the representing the Raiders, victorious 26 to 13. <laughs> what an incredible game. And I mean, both sides were just phenomenal throughout. We saw that high-powered offense from the All-Stars, from the Rabbits, brilliant.